Hi, this is Bob from BobTheSoundGuy.com, and I want to talk to you guys this, today uh, about power amps. I've been showing you guys how to string guitars, different sounds, how to tune a snare drum, different sounds of different things, uh, and that is leading up to how good sound starts with good sounds, okay? And so, but what I want to do is focus on the muscle of a PA system, which is the power amp today. So, uh, one of the things that you want to focus on, and this is just going to be a little little tip video. Uh, one of the things I want to focus on is, is when they clip. Okay, now clipping, what that is, is basically you're driving a, a power amp so hard, it's running it into what's called distortion. In other words, say you're on a trampoline and you're inside of a room. And what happens is you bounce high on that trampoline. You the higher you bounce, the more you bounce, the higher you get. All of a sudden, you hit the ceiling and you crack your head. Okay, that's kind of like what happens when a uh, an amp clips. Okay, it just doesn't put out anymore, and you hear cracking in the speakers, or the speakers do what's called farting out. You'll hear them kind of go a little bit. And what's happening is, is the the power amps are running up to where it is in that red. Okay. <clears throat> and you'll see where it says clip and you'll see red lights on each channel okay a couple couple reasons why power amps clip um, a lot of times sound engineers will come will come in uh, and see a, a, a sound system uh, that they don't know and they'll try to drive it too hard in other words what they're trying to do is put more bass into it than what is the, the system can handle uh, or the power amps are, you know, just can't handle what the sound engineer is putting at them. So what happens is, is it, is it runs them into the red or clips the channel. Okay. So <clears throat> one of the ways to do that is just to number one know the PA system, know what it's capable of. Uh, you're not going to get 110 decibels out of just a little club system. It's just not going to work uh, at at 100 feet where you're mixing. So anyway, uh, one way to, to alleviate that is just simply turn the power amp down to the point where it stops clipping, but yet you still have a decent amount of thumb. One little known secret. Uh, I've done tons of live shows for national acts, regional acts, local bands. Um, sometimes an amp will go into clipping without you putting any signal at it, hardly at all. In fact, you'll barely turn it up to one and the amp will, will almost go into shutdown mode. And why is that? And I think a few of you guys out there have had that, and here's the solution. The solution is, is because in the speaker cable there is an actual short. And what that's doing is it is running that amp into what's called a dead short. So it's just like taking a car, driving it 80 miles an hour into a solid brick wall. It's just going to stop and it's not going to go anywhere. Therefore, it's just going to run into to clipping. So if that is your case where, where you're not getting any hardly signal at all to your amp and it's clipping, check your speaker cable. I can guarantee you it's either a shorted cable or it could even be a blown speaker. So there you go. There's a little tip for today. Uh, and we'll discuss more in our next video about the, the, the little finer points of power amps. Uh, and, and how you rate them with speakers. So, see ya!